Okay, so like... Uh, uh, it's weak, whoever the fuck knows, and it's still the same night. I've actually decided to sleep over. It's 11, 12 p.m., and exhaustion has settled in my throat. I just want to collapse. Oh, do you feel that feel now? Oh, no, 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 not like my throat. I should have said my chest, meaning my whole body just wants to fall down. My throat hurts, and it's beautiful. Uh, here my is... throat is still fine. You still haven't touched your water, by the way. I'm drinking the bottle. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'll drink that. I'm going to drink that. You're thirsty. I have much thirst. The thirst is so real, but that's not what we're here for. This is some MW2 Spec Ops. Uh, I snipe like a beast, and uh, we're here. We have 800 questions, and we're not going to stop answering until we answer them all or give you a lot of bad puns. All right, once we have five bad puns in a row, we're going to stop with this website. That's a good idea. And then we'll go... To a different set of to questions. A different set of questions. Number 191. What was the last book you read? I feel really bad saying this. I don't know. I don't know either. It's the last book. Well, the last book I read would be Mrs. Dalloway. That was for school. Um, the last book I finished? Jesus. Damn. I have, I have no idea. Oh, well, it was not a fictional book. It was an anthology of essays uh, titled The Revolution Will Not Be Funded. So I do know what the last book I read was. Mine was probably a book on film. Actually, I have a lot easier time reading nonfiction than fiction, which suggests certain things. This is 779. We've done this question. If you want to... If you have, if you don't know, if we've been fishing, you should rewatch every single episode of this ever made. But if you're not uh, hip at the program, uh, if we repeat a question we've done in the past, uh, we do a bad pun or a joke. So, hey Jack, joke a pun. Let's see. I'm trying not to steal from Hank Green's sordid collection of puns and videos, so uh, I'll keep that going for as long as I can. This is that awkward silence where I'm supposed to be coming up with something. Do we have awkward silence music? What? So, okay, so, so, um, contrary to popular belief, Noah was not the only one who survived the flood with his family and animals. Uh, there were some pirates, and they were just looking for trouble. So they saw him in the distance, and one of them goes, Hey, is that a ship over there? The second one goes, No, I think it's an ark. That's it, that's the joke. You tried really hard. No, I didn't. You know what? You tried in my eyes. Next question. If we get four more bad jokes, we're done with these questions. Number 618. What's your favorite expletive beginning with the letter C? What's wow. An, what's an expletive? Swear word. Oh, thank you. Um, well, it is not. How about crap? Is that kind yeah, of yeah, crap is a good one. I also I'm trying to think of one that isn't... A terrible, a terrible thing to call a vagina. Yeah, that one's not. How about cock? Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a good one. Cock and crap. I think that's it. But well, what's your favorite out of the two? Crap. It's definitely. I'm gonna go with crikey. That's not even an. Is it an expletive? Is crap an expletive? Good question. I'm 27. Are you reliable? Yes. Eh. For the most part. Eh. You can tell when I'm gonna let you down. You can't. Not for me. 617. What's your favorite item of clothing beginning with the letter B? 
a button up shirt. Is it a button up or a button down? Depends on how you button it. I always button up. Um, mine would have to be, mine would have to be, uh, a, uh, wow, I think, I think button up shirt about covers it. Nice. 81, what would be your best achievement? I think another bad joke being made. Let's do this. Wow, okay. Um... See, I'm coming up with these on the spot, so uh, I can't bear with me. We have five in a row. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so, uh, one cubed, two cubed, and three cubed, getting into an argument, and. Three cubed is just a one cubed. Uh, I I I know, you took that pie. And one cubed says no. It was two cubed, two cubed, eight, it, two cubed, eight, it. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. He tried so hard. I think the ear one was the best one. That was that one was actually I high fived you for that. Yeah, I wonder if you could hear it on the thing. I hope so. Six twenty four. What's your favorite song beginning with the letter I? Idea of You by Dave Matthews. Oh God, can I think of this? Is there a fiddle tune that begins with I? I don't think so. Probably uh, Iris by the Google Go- Google Dolls. But maybe there's a song I like more than that. I just don't know what the title is. I can't think of it off the top of my head. There's Isis by Bob Dylan. It's a very good song. 209. 209. Who is better, the Beatles or Elvis Presley? I'm a personal fan of the Beatles. I'm not a big fan of either of them. I think it's worth noting that Elvis Presley is sort of the guy who made rock and roll famous among white people. I think it was very and disingenuous and disrespectful that we remember him as the king of rock and roll and not the actual black people who invented rock and roll like for example Chuck Berry Chuck Perry beats both yeah, of uh, them Be- uh, Chuck Berry Chuck Berry I'm sorry Chuck Berry I'm shooting a helicopter for a change Hey. 10 whoa what shoe size are you? Eleven and a half. Nine and a half. Four hundred and five. Is there anything you wished you would come back into fa- Oh, we've done this before. Bad puns and bad jokes, but look at this quick scope. Look at that. Look at that wow. Okay, here it goes. No. Look at that. You just, you were so good there. Yeah, alright, go for it. Two inches. Off the ground. Is that is that how high you can jump? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I was talking about. Six eighty nine. Michelangelo's David. Masterpiece or filth? I have no idea what you're talking about right now. I think it's the sculpture yeah. with, with the penis. Right. Filth. Absolute filth. I can't believe they let that garbage into our history textbooks. I agree wholeheartedly. I agree wholeheartedly. Have you ever needed an eye test? Yes. Multiple times. They uh, test me occasionally to see how well my eyes are doing and if I need a new prescription, which is often, and also because my prescription is so bad, to see if my retinas are becoming detached. That's an issue. 
Have you ever walked out of a cinema before the film was done? I I rarely go to the movies. I go to the movies quite often, and I have never done that. Well, not quite often. I've, a couple times, sometimes, some, maybe like 30 times in my life, at most. Do you have any family heirlooms? No. Um, there's a set of rings in my family. Uh, when my grandmother died, my uh, <coughs> mother and her three sisters each got one. And uh, I don't know, that's the only heirloom I can think of. Oh, also there's this chair in my living room that was like my dad's great aunt's. that We got all fixed up. It's a nice chair. If you were to become a famous singer, what would be your debut album be called? Number one. Um, debut album. Probably just be Jack O'Halloran or whatever like my stage name was. Just be my stage so that people would see it and they'd be like, oh, that's the debut album. You know, down the road when I had like 30 albums. What's the heaviest works, thing right? you can lift? I don't know. Not very much. 355. Do you keep a diary or journal? No. Yes, rarely updated. Well, I had one, I've just used it once. 434. Could you ever go with someone jo Oh, just because they're rich, we've done this one before. Oh, and if you haven't heard our answer, you should rewatch every single episode of this this great series on the gaming channel that really doesn't deserve to be on the gaming channel, but... This should be a podcast, I keep saying that. It should be, but I refuse to give him what he wants. Mostly because I have all of these videos and I've done nothing with them. And I'm going to want to make a video and, and I won't have it. Oh well, it's okay. But, um, yeah. Joke town. So, I've got one. I'm not actually blanking out now. I'm really formulating one in my head right now. You know, I think we need the video game for that, so that during the silences you hear gunshots. And it's something. Good idea. Well... I was uh, walking down the street the other day, a suburb, small suburban town, uh, passed by Mr. Rogers. It was cold out, so he had his hood up. It was a neighborhood that I was in. Okay. Is that, is that it? Yeah, that's it. It was a neighborhood. It was a neighbor's hood. Have you ever argued over who should pay for something? No. Yes. Oh. 384 Edgar where do you like to go to on a first date I mean I don't know I, I, I'd I never want to go to the movies for a first date just because it's so restricting on getting to know people so probably like just a very simple dinner and just walking in a park would be what I'd want to do. Yeah, I, I did of that. I was going to say a movie and then Edgar changed my mind. <laughs> Aren't I great? I think we can do one more. Or maybe two more. Let's see. Are you a good swimmer? I am not a swimmer. I am a good swimmer. Well, I'm not a good competitive swimmer. I'm a average slash below average, sometimes above average swimmer, depending on the event. And Competitively. Goodbye. Wow. Okay. Bye.